Hey guys, welcome back. Weapon Synergy. I find TF2 to be the most fun when my entire loadout works together particularly smoothly. I'm not talking about item sets, most of those don't really synergize at all. I mean, how does the Bushwhacker work well with a Darwin's Danger Shield? It, 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 it doesn't. I'm talking about creative combinations of weapons to achieve a certain playstyle. Some are well known such as combining the gunslinger with any of the engineer's shotgun primaries to create battle energy. Some are less about kills and more about utility, such as combining the rescue ranger and wrangler to put your sentry in an unusual spot. And then just any of Pyro's loadouts, honestly. I love this idea, but a lot of people are kind of enslaved to the meta these days. Tomislav and Sandvich, Iron Bomber and Stickies, Jag and Frontier Justice, can we have some fun, please? Here's something fun. Combine the Big Earner with the Diamond Back and Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, it's actually sick. The Big Earner is great for getting 1-2 to two kills, but your longevity is pretty garbage with only 100 health. So, equip the Cloak and Dagger so you can choose the perfect moment, get your two backstabs, and then with the speed boost and two crits loaded in the revolver, suddenly you're a speeding death ball with the ability to two-shot everything but heavy. I'm serious. If you play carefully, your enemies will never see you unless you have a speed boost and a crit loaded. It's actually nuts, and probably really frustrating to play against, so go do it. It isn't the most consistent playstyle in the world, but it turns you into a fast-paced duelist hitting clutch shots and speeding away before anyone can stop you. It's actually so much fun to pull off. Seriously, to hell with consistency. To hell with KD ratios. This is casual mode. Let's party! Lock and load! So what if it's not the Iron Bomber? I like it! This thing has massive range and tears up sentries, but with one less grenade and zero rollers, you're often left vulnerable. So, load up with the Charge and Charge and Claymore. I cannot count the times I have been saved from burning to death by this shield. Not to mention the fact that eating reflected pipes often doesn't even take me down to red health. I can charge out of any situation if I'm in trouble. And hey, if I run out of pipes and want to kill somebody, I can go across the entire map in a second and hit him with a critical sword strike. I actually went on a 9 kill streak on my first time using this loadout, which just speaks to how well it shores up the lock and those weaknesses. From now on, throw the meta in the bin. Try anything. The Soda Popper and BFB have damage-based meters, so charge them from a distance with the Cleaver and Ramp Assassin. Wee booties and quickie bombs for a weird, long-range sticky tank, I guess. <laughs> Cow Mangler charge shots fill up the conch really quickly for Soldier, but I never see them used together. <laughs> Or hey, for something really out there, you can combo the Jetpack Stomp with the Sherpid Volcano Fragment to actually get kills with that weapon. It's not good, but people in chat will really respect you for pulling it off. The game unlocks when you stop listening to what comp players say is best and just do what's fun. Most of the weapons in TF2 are pretty good, but they get even better when you start to combine them. Don't just use your primary. Get creative. Come on, it's so much fun. Go! Come up with your own crazy combos and leave them in the comments. I'll try them. I'll try anything. Unshackling myself from the meta has made TF2 10 times more fun for me, and I hope it does the same for you. Looking for how weapons can combine and thinking out of the box is so awesome! Yeah, in competitive mode you really should use the Iron Bomber and Sticky Bombs, but in casual, anything goes. So try anything. And if chat bugs you about your weapon choice, just send them to this video and maybe you can share the enlightenment with somebody else. Thanks for watching. Sub for more, I'm always working on new videos, and I'll see you next time.